Tenable issues a smear campaign warning. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The Tenable Media Office warned Nigerians yesterday that a smear campaign was being organized to damage APC presidential candidate Asawaji Bola Tenable's character. The Kastrucha set up of a poster campaign seeking to use a literary application of the biblical story of Judas' current betrayal of Jesus Christ to rope Asiwaji Tenembo into a storm of blasphemy is the most desperate act of anti tunembo propagandists in recent times, the group said in a statement. Our investigations have found that the same people designed the offensive posts also created a blasphemy counter complaint. Their plan is to utilize both inside to rage against Asiwaji Tunembo's aspiration. This effort was doomed from the start. This is certainly irresponsible and insensitive political advertising that aims to distort public perception against Asiwaji Tunembo, who is allegedly the most formidable presidential candidate in this campaign. It is commonly known that Asiwaji Tunembo is married to Senator Olure Mitunembu, who is not just a Christian, but also an ordained pastor and who has formed a very strong brotherly relationship with Christendoms at all levels, as many bishops, pastors, and parishioners have stated over the years. Asiwaju, a devout Muslim, has displayed religious tolerance and accommodation in both deeds and words. He believes in Nigerian constitutional cardinal principle that no one should be discriminated against because of their religion or political beliefs. Moreover, as the previous governor of Lagos, which is a microcosm of Nigeria in terms of religious plurality, his matured management of religion as a way of life enabled inter-religious cooperation in Nigeria's most industrialized state. It is hence impudent to imagine that a politician of Asiwaji Stenembo stature would tolerate biblical analogies that might be used to disparage his person or rank. Those trying to pit Muslims against Christians through deliberate deception of the general public overlook these basic fruits. While we continue to urge Nigerians to reject such small operations, we reaffirm our reserve to focus our political communication on the presentation of the facts and distributions of, your, of our point of view with decency and respect for others. My own is everything, you be, everything they are doing, they should ensure, and there are only, always ways of doing it. First of all, uh, we heard that um, the campaign was all over the place in Abuja, and we heard that, uh, you know, uh, we heard that it has been traced to Tunumbu Group now. Uh, they are coming out to say they are actually not the ones. Who will go believe like this? Who are we going to believe? And my opinion is not uh, is not far from what I normally say. This um, Tunumbu support group, there are ways, or even Simajo support group, there are ways they can actually uh, uh, support each other without coming at each other's fruit. There are ways they can support each other without coming at each other's fruit, and they should learn how to do that. In fact, doing the above is going to market the market the order for them. Let's say Tunumbu campaign, uh, campaign people, that's Tunumbu people who are in the campaign group, they come out and they're always saying things against Osibanjo. Do you know what is going to happen? What is going to happen is that Osibanjo will become more popular because I can judge with the fact that come 20, I mean last election during the 2014-15 elections, Allah produced and President Muhammad Buhari. That was the way Buhari was demarcated and what happened? He became the president of Nigeria. They should take note and ensure that instead of demarcating anyone, they should practice competency. They should practice, um, they should uh, uh, preach competency and market why the candidate is actually the best person for that job. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.